<laughs> this is weird. This is weird. Welcome back to another rather special episode of Tech Creator. And today we have something really special because uh, we all know that last year Sunrise actually or Bandai to exact they announced the collaboration. Asus actually got all the licensing to produce all these Gundam specific team PC <laughs> components. Yeah, ranging from peripherals to internals. Everything yeah. is Gundam themed. Yeah. Uh, Gundam, to be exact, uh, is not just the uh, Earth Federation's Gundam only. Uh, they also have the Zaku, which is from the Principality of Zion side, the Red Comet. Unfortunately, today we couldn't get uh, the full set of the Zaku. So today we're going to just going to focus on all the Gundam RX-78-2 to be exact. So before we get into all the components that we have on the table here, special thanks to Gladex. Without them, we couldn't have this opportunity to look at all this stuff. So let's, uh, let's get it started then. So first things first, I want to start off with this entire build first. And it's also in the Gundam team. So the full list of specs for this entire build is as shown here. Maybe here. It's very know. long. So take a few good seconds to read it or pause this video if you want to. And this build here is so well built that you can see everything just matches nicely. Of course, there are some components which is not officially Gundam team based. For example, the RAM. So what they have used here is the Corsair RAM. I think it's a good pairing, especially because the color matches with the rest mm -hmm. of the build. Everything they have Gundam, EFSF, Gundam, Gundam, Gundam. Even the rear expansion uh, <laughs> cover. Yes, that is the, the most... <laughs> What the heck thing that I've seen? I mean, all these things are colored tabs. Yeah. And also, another thing is that the AIO cooler, it has the RX78-2's face. Yes, <laughs> with the <laughs> antenna. With the <laughs> antenna on it. So, if you're really a big fan of uh, the OG Gundam, then you'll definitely like this build. So for the individual components, what's different? We start off with first the motherboard. This is the Z590 Gundam edition. And then you can see at the IO shield barrier thing, they have the writing EFSF there and also some other Gundam related writings as well. And at the back of the motherboard, the PCB does have a printing of the RX78-2 as well. And that also means uh, if you ever decide to build this uh, concept build, right? You have to make sure your cable management to be pristine. Pristine. <laughs> yes. That's yeah, that's the that's the thing that I want to talk about. Oh, and also speaking of cables, the power supply also has Gundam related. Yes, graphics. The 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 Gundam related graphics, and on top of that, the cables are all individually sleeve. But uh, this time. Uh, because of this build has a special request whereby they require to have RGB effects on the cable. That's why they use the Lianli Streamer RGB cable. I do see some of the cables are also colored in the yellow, blue, white. Yes, yes, they do yeah. have that. You can actually see it through the back of the glass panel. So mm -hmm. that's a thing. Oh, and since there's a cutout for the power supply, you can again see some of those colors popping up, which is really nice. And also the basement here, the shroud has a lot of yeah the what? ROG streaks. I don't know what they call it cyber text. They're printing it there Gundam. alongside with Gundam team mixed in it, which looks unique. And yeah. graphic card, the back plate is Gundam team. I believe they actually call this strip of uh, LED lighting as a uh, beam saber. The beam, beam saber. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. Okay. Uh, I I I believe they call that now because of from what I actually read from their release when they released the uh, the whole team outside. Mm, I just want to say the whole graphic card very clean with the Gundam yes. team. I I really like it. And again, the AIO cooler, like we mentioned earlier, they got the antenna there. It looks weird at first, but I like it so much. And also, the entire AIO cooler is yeah. white in color. 
And back to the case, at the front here, there's a button for you to cycle through some colors so you can change the how the front glass looks. Yeah, the, actually the front glass has this uh, LED illumination. So when you cycle through all the colors, you can actually see the Gundam RX-78 lights up. Oh, one more thing to mention about the case. So it has handles at the top. Oof. Yeah, you need to oof it a bit. If you take it out, you can see this. Yeah, this is... Uh, There's two of them actually, one here. A bit rough. But yeah, leaving uh, the main system aside, of course, some of the key highlight of this entire Gundam collaboration is also the peripherals, the keyboard, this uh, monitor, even the router, headset and the headset stand, everything. And today we have one peripheral which we haven't unboxed, which is the RG Strix Impact 2 gaming mouse. Yes, so before we unbox this, have a look at the box. One thing I have to highlight is that every single item's box is in this blue and silvery color kind of theme. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah. And when I look at the boxes... Yeah, we hope to show you guys uh, because uh, we have uh, not have enough space to show it. But mm, just, just maybe just a quick photo. A or quick two. photo of that. Uh, I, I really don't want to throw the boxes away. It's too nice. Yeah. I mean, if you want me to slash this open, I have to do it carefully. So, introduce us to yeah. other stuff. Okay, so first thing I need to highlight is the headphone stand. This is the, what do you call this? ROG Throne Qi Charging. Actually, yeah, this comes with Qi Charging Pad. You can just put a smartphone here to charge. Yeah. This thing is actually not officially available in Malaysia for some reason. I'm not too sure why they don't because out of everything, there are some products they are not bringing in and this is uh, one of them. Uh, somehow Gladex, uh, they, are, they have the sources to get this into uh, Malaysia and it is uh, pairing really well with the, you know, this is the ROG Delta headset. Uh, it is rather unfortunate this is not wireless but hey, at least you get wired connection for a much more stable and lower latency audio. One thing I find really interesting is this router. This is the, of course, Gundam team router as well. I'm really curious if they have special interface for their management software because I don't think the BIOS is uh, in the special team. So I wonder if they have a special team for this router. Otherwise, it generally, it looks really nice. It, it matches with the overall futuristic Gundam look. By the way, thing. the mouthpiece is also pressable. Oh, is that a mouthpiece? This, I'm not too sure. The Gundam mouth is always like a little triangle thing. But one thing, yeah, the missed opportunity is that if they color this part into the yellow, matches the, you know, the, the fins on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And exhaust and then you <laughs> add vents there. Add vents, uh, all the vents over there. But <laughs> that aside, it really nice uh, to, to have this, the whole set to put on the table. And that is the keyboard. They actually come with two different switch options, uh, red switch and blue switch. The one we have here is clicky blue. Uh, this is the ROG Scope TKL mechanical keyboard. And personally, I think it looks really nice. It doesn't have all those uh, weird, fancy stuff on the side. Basically, you just get a clean slate of keyboard. And the keycaps have the matching color according to Gundam team. And while Koki is still trying to unbox the Impact 2, the mouse pad for this set is, I would say, it looks really nice. It's called the ROG Shift Gundam Limited mouse pad. You see, it is a rather standard size, not the kind of uh, desk mat size and they don't come with RGB. Personally, I think it just looks okay with the Gundam head design on that. And there we have it. This is the ROG Impact 2. I this hold is... this for a while. Okay, so one thing I want to talk about yeah. is user manual. They, they, Mm, they custom interface this user manual as well. So you got 
Wow, ROG X Gundam. And then you also have colors on the user manual here. The graphic for the mouse is entirely matching with this, with the wording of Gundam. So this is the standard ROG Strix Impact 2 mouse, not the wireless version. So apart from all these Gundam team build and everything, uh, Asus do have the Zaku 2 S uh, variant as well, and most of their components are using the tough gaming components. Okay. So that one is an EMD focus build, you know, red, blue team, red team, blue team. It is uh, rather interesting because we all know during that one year war period when the Gundam was first launched, it was like the, uh, the most advanced mobile suit of the time. Meanwhile, the Zaku 2 is like, well, normal standard mobile suit from the Principality of Zion. And okay, I get the idea. They just want to give them a B550M motherboard. And then the graphics card is the, I believe it's GTX 1660 Super instead of the RTX 3080. Uh, unfortunately, in terms of all the machinery, technology and everything, the Zaku 2 is slightly behind of the Gundam. However, uh, as seen in the show, uh, Sha is able to pilot that thing, the Red Comet, like three times faster than regular Zaku. And it can match with the much more superior Gundam. Is the thing still called Sinanju in the older series? No, 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 no. This, this <laughs> Sinanju is, is unicorn. <laughs> Sinanju is unicorn. That one is different, different, <laughs> different series. Different. Is. So that's all we want to share with you guys with this really, really special episode from uh, Gundam series build. And for, special thanks to Gladex for letting us to come into their studio and film this very special build also. And you can check them out down in the description below. I'll also leave some of their Facebook information on the page here. Yeah. Do let us know what you guys think about this kind of uh, special team builds. Would you get this kind of uh, I don't know, special team builds? I know a lot of people build color team, but not to this kind of extent. Yeah, <laughs> just tell, tell us whatever you think in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video, I guess. Yes, of course. One quick question. <laughs> Do you think in future generations, Yeah. Gundam and ROG partner again and then they're gonna have twin drive with double oh SMI my, graphic card. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that is <laughs> <laughs> double graphic card. <laughs> double I, monitor also can. I don't know. Uh before double O, I believe Gundam Seed will get the priority first. Yes. Because that series is uh, Then they're gonna get the red frame with the swords. Real um, nice. I don't know. Maybe. You maybe. Freedom okay, maybe justice. in the future, if they do Unicorn, then Kishatria, the bell pepper, oh. then you get four monitors oh. open up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so weird. I don't know. I'll leave it to you guys to think about that. <laughs>